Hi there. Thank you very much for joining me in this short session about Brigadier. I'm reading your comments and try to respond to them as soon as possible. And sometimes I'm responding with a video. So here we are. You've asked how to use Brigadier. I did present it quickly on this video. It seems it was not enough, so I will try to present it now in more detail. But first, what is Brigadier? It is a very nice piece of software that allows you to download bootcamp drivers. By default, it downloads the version designated for the machine where Brigadier is executed, but sometimes it is not what you need. For example, when you need to download a higher version than what is recommended. Like when you want to install Windows 11 on a MacBook Pro from 2009. So let's switch to Windows and play with it. Fast switching, right? Download Brigadier from GitHub. Link is in the description. You need also 7-zip, so download it and install it. Link also in the description. This is a command line software, so executing it by double clicking will start a command window and the software will run there. Of course, this means you will not be able to run it with arguments like downloading a specific bootcamp version. So, in order to run it with arguments, with options, first run CMD or PowerShell and go to where it was downloaded. Now, we have the magic of command line. We run Brigadier with minus minus help and you will see the options you have. There, this is what we need to run it with minus M model. Unfortunately, we cannot specify from command line exactly, I don't know, some, some uh, bootcamp version. However, if you choose as model MacBook Pro 16,4, you will get a bootcamp driver version 6. Once the download is done, go to the folder where Brigadier is and you will see a new folder with bootcamp drivers. And I'm gonna tell you another interesting thing. If you open bootcamp XML, with Notepad, you will see there the exact version of Bootcamp. Magic, right? If you do not want to complicate yourself with CMD, there is another way. You copy the executable and paste it as shortcut, right? And we'll rename this one, oh, sorry. And we'll rename this one as, I don't know, MacBook Pro 16 and what we can do now is properties on target there is brigadier.exe and we will write there the commands I've just shown you via CMD so minus M MacBook Pro 16 comma or apply and now when I run this shortcut it will be executed with those arguments you see MacBook Pro 16,4 if I try to run it without arguments there is different here it's Mac model VMware 7.1 because this is a virtual machine. So this is another way to run it without complicating yourself via CMD. I find it more easy via CMD, but it's up to you. So you've seen it's not that difficult. You just have to pay a little attention <laughs> to details and everything will be fine. Do not hesitate to ask any questions in comments if you have. If you found it useful, do like it and why not subscribe? And see you next time. Bye!